Hi, in this video I'm going to be talking about how I lost uh, 12 kilos around 25 pounds in roughly 8 months. I did it by um, having a very clear cut plan uh, that I stuck to. I had my starting weight, and then my ending weight that I wanted to get to, to a, by a certain date, and then um, a clear set of rules that I would apply if I wasn't losing weight at the rate that I wanted to lose weight at. Uh, the video came about because um, I've done a bunch of uh, finance and investing videos on YouTube and a couple of viewers got in touch saying, oh my God, how, are you okay? Have you lost all this weight? Um, and I thought I'd simply share with uh, with you how I did it. I'm not a doctor, medical professional, nutritionist or anything like it. I'm just a regular 46-year-old male that wanted to lose some weight. Um, I will say a couple of things. Make sure it's healthy for you uh, too. Probably don't try to lose weight too quickly. Um, and uh, and also, I'd say, make sure you actually want to do it because some of these rules uh, require uh, a certain amount of tenacity. Um, but I'll build the spreadsheet from scratch and hopefully you can copy it and, um, and, and experience similar weight loss uh, as, as I've done. So here we are with a completely blank spreadsheet. I'm just going to recreate uh, what, what I did myself so you can follow along and see in the text. So let's call it losing weight. Um, and then what I start with is it, so that it updates automatically. I put in today, so that's today's date. So this is actually recorded July uh, um, the 2nd, 2018. But then what I did is this is recreating my old spreadsheet. So my start date was um, um, 1 11 2017. And my end target date was 1-7-2018. Um, and what I had here was my weight um, was uh, at the time 88. Sounds like a lot when I look at it now. 88 kilos. just um, And my target end weight was 76, which is roughly what I am now. And um, so that meant that I was, my loss was that minus that. I wanted to lose 12 kilos. Then days, days I had to lose it was that minus that. So I had 242 days to lose it, um, which meant that uh, loss per day was... 12 kilos divided 242 days, which we can, um, that's basically 50 grams per day. So what I did then is I said, uh, let's pretend now that it's not July 2nd, um, but that it's, uh, let's say this was in, um, um, let's say it was uh, 4 2 2018. So what I should weigh today, I should, you should weigh below, and then what it is, is it's the starting weight. Um, actually, let's make this day since you started. You started, which is therefore today's date minus when you started, right? So that means, let's move this down one row. That means that today you should weigh below, um, 88 minus 95 days times loss. So you should weigh below 83 kilos. Let's make that one decimal, so it's not. So then um, what I would do then on that day, I would punch in my current weight. So I'd get on the scale, current weight. And let's say um, that I weighed 85 kilos, so not good. Let's make this red and bold. <laughs> um, okay, so then it's my, what was my excess? This was in this case, 85 minus 83. So I weighed 1.7 kilos more than, than I did. So then I had this formula just to be annoying to myself. Um, over question mark. I would then say if, um, if, uh, this number was above one. I would big fat reminder say lose weight. Um, there you go. And otherwise nothing. Uh, 
Oh, sorry, that doesn't need to. There you go. So then we'll say lose weight, and let's make that bold. So there you have it. So now it would say, and obviously in your own spreadsheet, if you build a similar one, this should say today's date, but I just put in um, you know, a, a random date and pretended I weighed 85 kilos. So then what I did is here are the, uh, so this is basically the sheet. So you can follow along and say, then let me copy in what I actually did. My, what I would call my punishments. I'll put those right here. So there you go. So weight behind. So basically I had a rule that if I weighed one kilo more than my trajectory, so in this case you can see it's 171, I would have a rule I would have no bread, no pasta, no white rice, and no desserts. So whatever I ate, I didn't eat that. I would have no sauces. What I mean is ketchup and I love barbecue sauce was a weakness of mine. Um, I would have nothing that was fried. And I would fast 12 hours a day. And when we talk about fasting, you should look at other videos online about it. It's actually apparently quite healthy for us as individuals. Um, I would say I would not eat 12 hours a day. It's really quite simple because but all you do is you you say, when did I eat dinner? And then you just don't eat until 12, after, 12 hours after that. I would do 30 minutes of exercise a day. And then um, I never actually got started with this. was the standing desk for X hours a day. So... Standing desk was probably good for a lot of things, but but I would um, I would do that. Then if I was two kilos above, which did happen quite a well, actually not that much, but you know if you do all these things, you're gonna lose weight. Um, but if you're two kilos above, in my case, and again you should make this tail of this to yourself. I would um, do all the things that I did if I was one kilo, but instead I would do 16 hours a day. So that basically means that you don't you skip breakfast. Then I eat out a lot because of what I do. I would only eat salads when I was eating out. I'd do a minimum of 45 minutes exercise a day. And then I would do double the standing hours. Again, I didn't really get started on that. If I was three kilos ahead, and this is where it gets quite tricky. I would exercise 60 minutes a day. I only happened this a couple of times, actually. Um, I would only have, and this is a rule a friend of mine told me about, that you do bites, so normal bites. So whatever you eat, I would only have 12 bites after 6 p.m. It doesn't sound like a lot, but it's actually enough to do uh, to get you um, uh, to lose a fair bit of weight fairly quickly. I'd only have smoothies during the day. I never stuck with this. Another friend said that was actually quite unhealthy. Um, I would have no alcohol. Uh, it's not that I'm a huge drinker, but, but uh, alcohol is obviously quite, quite uh, fattening. I would do that three hours of three times the amount of standing desk. I actually only had this happen to me once because, frankly, if you do, in my case, these things, you're going to lose weight, right? And you're going to lose weight on the trajectory that was even, in this case, faster than, than I did. Then I also had this thing where I would have no nothing before 2 p.m., which, again, feeds into the 16 hours a day, which you're doing anyhow. So nothing before 2 p.m. is not a big deal. And then I'd only have porridge because it's quite filling. Um, I will say, like, I ended up liking salads a lot. They're actually quite filling. I never thought I'd hear myself say this in a public forum. Um, but so you get used to eating salads and you have to lose quite a bit of weight. So what I'd recommend you do is you keep track of your weight over time. And the way, a simple way to do this is you copy down the date like so, and then you just make that equals that plus one. Copy this down. Uh, so this is the date. Then you can say the target is so the first date is going to be whatever the your starting weight is 88 kilos in my case that's meant to go down by um the, what you're meant to lose every day so in this case let's make this a constant so in this, my case is 50 grams or so copy that down you should obviously copy it further down to to him to the end date um let's say your actual weight so let's just pick a day and say in this case november 4th let's say i weighed 87 kilos um and then we can call it excess so on this date um i actually was 87 i was meant to weigh 87.85 which suggests that i at this date weighed 850 grams or 0.85 kilos less than my target so i've actually gone ahead and taken my personal measurements in here let me just copy them in there you go copy this so 
called them something slightly different, I think. So there you go. So these are my dates, my ideal, my actual. You can see I basically weighed myself, not every day, but almost every day. You see, I missed a couple for various reasons. Oh, one thing I think is worth noting is that I wouldn't worry too much about the weight on the day because there's like the water content in our bodies is quite, um, quite varied. But, um, uh, you know, so what you can do is an average over a couple of days, or you can even wait, no pun intended, but wait, a weighted average, so you weigh the more recent, more highly. Um, and so that, that, that's a good way to think about it. These are actually my actual weights for the day. And you can see my, how much I was in, in excess or, uh, or below negative is below. What you could then do is that you can insert a chart, which I think is a neat idea. So let's highlight all the numbers. Let's go back up to the top and then insert, let's see, this is playing with Excel in a way I haven't done in a long time. There you go. So there's a chart. Uh, let's call it, I should call it losing weight. Losing weight. Um, don't need the, uh, don't need it to start at zero. We can have it start at 70 kilos as a minimum. 95 is good. Um, so there you have it. I'm going to down, make it a little bigger perhaps. So, so what you see here is this, um, you see here is the blue line is the day the, 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 how I try to lose the weight and the yellow are all the individual data points of what my actual weight was for the X actually, you see the dates you can play around with this chart and make it look like how you want to look, but it's actually quite motivating to, to see how you're doing relative to how you're meant to be doing. So this is the sheet, you know, there's the math on how, um, how you target um given the dates um then what you should do today this this right here um the actual what i did and here are the, the what i call punishments or what what happens if you don't um uh, achieve the the decline that you're hoping for um and then you graph it right here it's really all quite motivating so um so that's um that's that so I hope that was interesting and useful. Um, you can subscribe to my channel if you want to hear about future videos. Um, but in general, I'd say uh, best of luck with losing weight. And I hope to see you back here on the channel at some point in the future.